There's a difference between benefits that are offered and benefits that are provided. There's also a difference between being self-insured and being subservient to a large corporation. IBW Local 103 provides benefits to all our members under our self-funded, self-insured plans, which includes pension and annuity. I see my parents, they're both uh, union workers. My father was a UPS mechanic, so he just retired. I see him living the life and then I see myself working day by day <laughs> and then you go to my old job and there was a older gentleman in his 60s still working and kind of took me back and I was like, all right, I need, don't want to do that. I kind of want to have the life my dad has. So I jumped to 103. When you get to your retirement, you want to be able to enjoy it and you want to know that the people around you are looking to get the job done, but looking to get for your well-being to be taken care of in that process as well so that your longevity is there. He was at different jobs. Uh, if he got laid off, if he got, they were like, oh, we're closing our doors, you know, it was like, what do we do for insurance? So now I have to say being in local 103 and it's been a blessing because now all six of our kids are covered to the 26. I can still work for Dam. I can still be a mom and he's out there making a living and loving what he's doing. I got a brother that works uh, for Sully Mac. He's in the 103, he's a third year apprentice. He's a single dad, he's got a kid in uh, the healthcare and everything, same thing for him. It's just been a huge game changer. And now that he's over at the JTC learning, I feel like he's gonna get a better education than he would have elsewhere. The health insurance is wonderful because nothing gets taken out of my check. Before it'd be like every couple of weeks, there'd be a lot of money and I'm like, oh, I wish I had that and now I do. And the benefits are way better if you think that working for the state, you have a better benefits, it's not, it's not even a little bit. The overtime is different too. Yeah. You know, when you're in the local 103, the non-union shop, if you turned it down in a non-union shop, you won't be asked the following week. Yeah. Now they, you know, in the local they have a list. They ask if they want 10 guys and they have 20, they'll ask 10 guys. They turn it down, then they go down the line. <coughs> but you're always going to have a chance to work overtime. You so get yeah. paid for overtime. Yeah, not, and it's not actual like overtime. You don't have to do 40 hours in order for it yeah, to be yeah. overtime. You can work 32 hours, yeah. and then on a Saturday it's overtime. The yeah, raises are already scheduled. You always already see it a couple of months in time what, what it's going to be at that point. You know, March, September, whatever it is. You already know that yeah. that's that's the race. And you you can always make more in the union. You know, if you're going above and beyond, there's nothing saying that the company that you're working right. for can't give you more or put you in another opportunity right. or give you some growth in another area if you're looking for it. Six months in the company and they've already made you a foreman. So that's amazing for me. I worked my last company, it took me five years to get promoted. You know, and this one they're like, yeah, you know, they see the quality in me, I guess. And, and you got a raise right away. And I got a, and I got a raise right away. <laughs>